Um, so can you tell me, I guess, um, what the potential role of neutrality or non-alignment in Serbia is, or, or kind of uh, the broader Western Balkan context, what, what neutrality could be used? Actually, um, my argument is that uh, neutrality was uh, declared for the uh, kind of domestic purposes and uh, for, for the political purposes of some uh, nationalist political parties. So actually, it's a little bit... <laughs> it's a little bit... Um, um, uh, uh, maybe disappointing uh, uh, for, for, for those who are kind of uh, like a concept of neutrality uh, uh, but, um, but for, for the Serbia um, I think uh, they, um, they, uh, they use the neutrality for their own purposes but uh, the, the, the contribution that they can make probably is a little bit limited uh, because they, it, it, it's not actually so um, um, active or um, yeah, engaged uh, from the Serbian uh, yeah, government. Yeah, okay. so. <laughs> very, very good. Um, and then if I could ask you to speculate, do you think neutrality could be a viable option for countries like Bosnia and Herzegovina and Kosovo where there's I think it's complicated situation? Um, um, I think it's uh, for, for the moment uh, a viable option only for, for Ser Serbia because I'm going to argue in the presentation, but this neutrality is a strong uh, uh, association with the opposition against NATO. So it's very uh, supported by Serbs, but uh, not by other ethnic groups. So Kosovo, things like that, they would never you know, take a similar stance like Serbia. They are much more pro-NATO, pro-American. Uh, in Bosnia, there are Serbs as, a, as a one, one of the three major ethnic groups. So Serb uh, would propose uh, for, for, for neutrality, but uh, the other two ethnic groups uh, in Bosnia would definitely oppose, and they want to uh, move towards NATO. So, so I think overall there is a, a, a low likelihood that the Bosnia would, would be a neutral country. So in, the, in this sense, I think uh, neutrality will be limited to Ser Serbia at this moment. And then last question, um, it, just on a broader level in the Western Balkans, what do you view as maybe just the greatest challenges for security or conflict resolution? Do you view certain certain regions or certain kind of questions as the biggest challenges to peace building in the region? Um, hmm. It's uh, hmm. because neutrality is, uh, you know, this uh, f f from the Serbia's perspective, it's, it's only you know, association with the opposition uh, uh, to NATO. Uh, so it itself is not uh, an obstacle for peace uh, building, I think. But, um, the, the, uh, I'm going to talk this in the presentation, but this uh, opposition to NATO is closely leading to the Kosovo issue. So Americans, NATO playing an important role in Kosovo, and they're very unhappy with that. So in that sense, this neutrality could be Always related to uh, it is always related to uh, opposition of the Serbia against the independence of Kosovo, and in that sense, it could be an obstacle for like uh, peace building or finding a viable solution for the status issue of the Kosovo in the, in the Western Balkans.